the eighth day, after Derek Walcott's Love After Love. It's the way I hold her hand, guide her through the old church car park onto Oxford Road, quick glimpses of us mirrored in the glass fronts of Archie's and Papalino's. My mind goes back to 11 summers ago, a student testing the still watering ground of imagination, tentatively growing into my skin, skin that once held five beautiful children. I take her arm, we cross to a familiar bookstore where a young mother once spent hours cultivating potential, a love of words creating constellations for her to orbit in. Through the iron railings of All Saints Park, our eyes skim the green of new beginnings. We have made peace with the bodies beneath our feet. She strokes the faint mark on my ringless finger. We smile at each other, marvel at how far we've come. Step together into the eighth day, make our way downstairs to the tinker of kitchens. Order the fresh Zynga juice with extra ginger. We sit opposite each other, the older eye cradling the curious hands of the younger, gaze with elation. On this new day of laughter, exchanging hearts in the museum of ourselves, we feast on our life. Topography, Oxford Road, map and key. When I say I know this city, I mean I know it by its men. I mean the giving of directions is an unfolding like an atlas, like a parting of legs. I mean I know it by the long road of my body laid down between home and somewhere else. Or by the bus stop, there was the morning's quiet leaving, or the last fight cafe or the open zip of the canal. I mean that I may not have ever learned the proper name for anywhere, but their voices are still the dull traffic when I cannot sleep. When I offer you my hand, come with me. Let me show you where it was I kissed him, here, and here, and there. Key, here against the brick wall cliff face of the side street estuaries, Charles, Chester, Sydney. Here, where the snooker table in the refuge was a bed and I leant across it, his head dipped to the back of my neck a choreography of pockets. There, top floor flat of the quadrangle, the city on our bare shoulders through the window, a night coming in like a memory. Postcards from Oxford Road. Every road is a story. And the days they pass, the nights they fall, like wounded birds around her feet. But it doesn't have to be this way, she thinks, discarding her marigold gloves, her bucket, her broom. There is life in her yet. She flies over Oxford Road, bone on shoulders of the young, their youth a Duracell battery, keeping her afloat. At the university, she makes a list of things left behind. Screaming kids, filthy dishes, unmade beds, skull back at her, voices bite, set up home, 
in her ear. You are too old, too wife, too mother to be a student once more. But there she sits in the library, a teenager drunk on words. The quiet eyes of the books watch her. Years tick by. She looks up one day and sees herself in Whitworth Hall, proud, upright, in a black scholar's gown, her degree a crown on her salt pepper head. A doctor of philosophy, she may not rescue a life, but she has saved her soul. Postcards from Oxford Road, Whitworth Gallery and Park. A quiet afternoon, a summer's day, scrubbed clean of virus, the road gleams. A cabbie driver, I turn the meter off and wait outside Whitworth Gallery and stare at the ochre rust bricks. Dare I? The door smiles wide open. I step inside. Paintings nod. Statues grin. Standardization and deviation. The headlines scream. On the walls hang textiles of far off lands. Guns, machines, cartoons and craft binding the world in a tight embrace. Tears and blood built this space. But now there's only the soft footfall of men like me looking to belong. In the cafeteria over tea and cake, I spot curly cues of clouds floating high. The park crowded with trees presses its nose to the wide paned glass windows. Sycamore, beach, plain and lime. The bowed heads full of flower and leaf will shelter me from storm and grief. This museum, this park, tell me I am home. Postcards from Oxford Road, the refuge restaurant at the Kimpton Clock Tower Hotel. We would like to build a road back to us. Press an ear to each other's chest. Hear the heartbeat go wild before it stops. We would like a table for two. Are you celebrating something? The waiter asks. He leads us to an alcove table, shy and dark. A menu card crowded with wine. The shimmer and smoke of mirrors plays tricks with our eyes. We sit down to eat. Like a caterpillar, you nibble at a lettuce leaf. I chew a bird's dead bone. The clink of glasses is a funeral bell. Afterwards, we walk to the end of our road. The milky stars blink above. Our shadows duck and dive like dancers aiming blows.